moving on, moving on, moving on. So, as most of you guys know, Pharrell Williams debuted um, his full 2024 collection for Louis Vuitton. He's the creative director over there, took over from Virgil Abloh, RIP. And the entire collection is pretty shit. I'm not going to lie. I did review a little bit of it on the pod recently, and I didn't like any of it. I think it was um, very repetitive, kind of looked like the bits that he did in the resort collection i saw elements of the first collection i saw even some looks or one particular look with a kilt that looked like something virgil would have designed himself when he was at louis vuitton r.i.p and obviously something he did it off white so it was just repetitive and nonsense but the best thing to come out of the louis vuitton collection was definitely the timberlands collaboration the best and worst thing i think it was a little bit of a worst thing because it was the um it was the easiest thing to kind of pull from, right? It was already a, a brand and a cultural product and item that we're all familiar with and we're all kind of love. Um, so it kind of pulled at those type of high strings. And, you know, there wasn't any risk taken because it's a brand everyone's familiar with, um, especially the silhouette. But I also think it was impressive because he was able to take Louis Vuitton and kind of lux them up. So he was able to take a Timberland and add a kind of bit of lux, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of sprinkle to them. And obviously reintroduce some models which I don't think have been introduced before. One of the models that I think is a real standout in this Louis Vuitton collaboration are the models here on the top left. This um, almost rig, I think it's like a rigger boot, a rig boot or something like that, right? Um, I know Red Wings do a type of version of this type of boot. And essentially the boot I'm talking about is basically a boot without laces that comes up to about your calf kind of you know what you imagine a firefighter would wear or something somebody would wear if they're working in a farm you know kind of high up boots that can maybe take all the rain you can stuff your fucking trousers in they're really you know they're slip resistant wet resistant all that good stuff thermal lining and shit and basically indestructible and usually have a little bit of a steel toe for construction whatever malarkey i think these models um there's one that's like a that's like fire height there's one that goes just above your ankle and there's one that just goes just in between with a kind of you know with a buckle type design i think those three are the best designs when it comes to taking a regular Louis, a regular timberlands boot and then just putting the louis vuitton emblem all over it as you see here with the classic kind of like is it eight laces eight eyelets i think timberland you've got the classic timberland boot here with the louis vuitton monogram on the collar here and i think what they've also done louis vuitton or what pharrell's done with the collaboration is i think he's added a sole he's kind of thickened the sole if i'm not mistaken the sole's kind of been I may be thickened or maybe not. Maybe it's just, maybe they've just changed the material. Um, maybe, I'm not too sure, but it feels like the sole, the outsole is a tiny bit thicker. So those are pretty cool. These boots here at the bottom are horrendous. These look like the boots that you see some kid in Harlem wearing, right? The Extendo um, Timberlands are not for me. And then you've got the really low ones that are not, also not for me, but I think the classic ones with those are all right. But, I, you know, I'm just not a fan of the, of the emblems and whatever it may be and i think if you look even closer I, you can't really see them on the picture but on the suede they're kind of embossed on the new buck you kind of got like an embossed lv all over the top of the upper but i do like the difference there's a version of the louis vuitton um, timberlands one that has the timberland logo on the back and then on the collar you have the monogram right the lv and another version as you can see here has a thinner sole one and then it's got the lv where the timberland sign is meant to be and then the collar is just a plain black leather i do like that kind of flip on them that's kind of cool but i think the best design is definitely this rigger boot here right those two rigger boots but 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 the most obscene the most obscene version of them is this version the most obscene version is this version this version of the louis vuitton boot collaboration with timberland is absolutely obscene because I just found out the price. I found out the price of this boot. And it's, again, if you're listening, it's just a brown boot, a, a, a Timberlands boot, obviously, shape-wise, with the Louis Vuitton monogram all over the top. And it's got a gold embossed Louis Vuitton logo. Sorry, Timberland logo on the back. Gold eyelets. I want you to guess how much you think this boot is. How much you think this boot was going to retail for? I want you to guess how much you think it's going to retail for. Five, four three two one guess what seventy five thousand dollars yes you guessed it seventy five thousand dollars this boot's gonna go for seventy five <laughs> some people don't earn that in a fucking year 
and they're making one boot 75,000. Uh, allegedly, it's made out of real, authentic Louis Vuitton leather and it's, it's got 25, 24 karat gold or something on the eyelets and I think maybe there's some gold, actual gold on the fucking heel logo here. $75,000. Allegedly, that's the price that's been banded around. Now, maybe because of the backlash, they could bring it down to 50, but it's going to be above 10K. It's going to be above 10K, con definitely. Can you imagine paying $75,000 for a pair of Timberlands? That most people, this is the thing that's wild about them. Most people will see you wearing, again, I care about fashion, I care about shoes. Most of you don't give a fuck about this shit. If you saw somebody walking down the street with these, you just think he got them from some local Chinaman down the road or the Indian guy down the road or some barber shop down the road. You wouldn't even think they were real. That's a funny thing. If you saw somebody, you think they're just customs. Okay, he's got some cool shoes there. You'd think he got them from some African man selling shoes on the street. You wouldn't actually think they were real. That's a funny thing. You pay 75000 and most people that you would encounter will think they're fucking bootleg anyway. <laughs> they think or, they, or they think they're ugly. That's what they'd think. Most people think they're ugly. And look at the look at the addition. You pay 75000 and look what they've got as an added bonus. When you flip the tongue down, you've got this gold LV um, under, underneath the tongue. So Timberland's tongues, when you're wearing Timberland's, I think the New York way is to have the laces kind of open and sometimes have the flap, I'm uh, sorry, the, the tongue kind of flapping over the front. And I guess Pharrell, in terms of that, he did um, an LV logo that's upside down when it's upwards, but then when you flip it, it's obviously the right way around. People can see the logo. So it's very gaudy, very flashy, which is interesting because Pharrell recently has sold a lot of his stuff, right? Drake recently bought a lot of his chains as a way to like kind of sneak this, um, push a T. He didn't actually sneak this him. He actually did this him. And he's done a lot of other auctions. And he's basically spoken about, you know, getting rid of that part of his life. He's always spoken about how cringy he felt looking back at some of his old content when he used to floss. Even though I used to love that era of fucking Pharrell, right? That N.E.R.D. in search of Pharrell, where he'd be bragging about getting on a private jet, driving a McLaren. Like, I found out about a lot of those things because of Pharrell's fucking bars. So to see him kind of, you know, push that thing to the side and be doing the fucking fake fucking Buddha shit is fucking annoying. But it's funny to see him reject consumerism, reject fucking, you know, um, obstantaneous obst you know fucking examples of wealth but then go to fucking Louis Vuitton and do a collaboration with Timberlands and then just cover the shit in gold <laughs> you know and try and sell you a pair of boots that you can buy normally for a hundred bucks and maybe if you want to look online you can find a China replica factory somewhere that can give you this for fucking 50 he's trying to sell you this for 75 thousand dollars 75 in the uk 75 pounds in the year in the europe 75 euros because they don't fuck around with the prices nowadays they try to lie and say oh because of the financial economy blah, blah, blah. no they just they just want to charge you the same so it doesn't matter if you buy these in paris if you buy these in london if you buy these in new york you're paying 75 thousand and most likely you have to get on a list they probably won't make a lot of them you know, they'll, they'll do the same thing they always do. They'll create artificial scarcity and the only people you'll see wearing them are Asian people, Middle Eastern people and some ballers from fucking Africa. That's it. But they're so fucking horrendous. Legitimately one of the worst, most disgusting things I've ever seen in my entire life are these boots. Like horrendous. Really, really, really fucking horrendous. And if anything, for me, oh shit, there's gold on two sides. I've, I, 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 what you call it? I apologize. I assumed that gold, when it folds over, was only on the inside of the tongue. No, there's a gold emblem, a gold badge. That's probably some carrot. Maybe it's higher than 24 carats. And there's also the same gold logo badge on the front side of the tongue. So you've got two bits of gold on the front of your fucking shoe. <laughs> and, and it's all engraved with Louis Vuitton written on the side. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Jesus Christ, bro. Yuck. It's so gaudy. This is a, if you wanted an example of a shoe that personified nigger, this is it. This is niggery. This is the most niggery ish shoe I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, <laughs> like there's gonna be a there's gonna be a guy out there who's gonna take off that badge and put on a chain. I'm sure. 
Somebody's gonna take that badge off and put it on the chain. I'm I'm almost sure. I'm almost sure of it. Someone's gonna take off that badge and put it on the chain. <laughs> I'm almost certain. Or they're gonna put it on a belt, or they're gonna use it as a late as a as a tag on the side of their boot. But that is one of the most awful things I have ever seen. Honestly. Honestly, exactly. Congolese uncle. Exactly. The most niggery thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Some guy in Atlanta is going to be freaking these. Some uncle in fucking in Canning Town. Some uncle, some Congolese tonton is going to be fucking freaking these somewhere along the line. You know he's going to be pulling up at the barbershop wearing these. You know what I mean? Tonton's going to be absolutely stepping in these. Some guy, some jit in Florida somewhere is going to be sparkling in these. You know. You know. Come on, man. What the hell is this, bro? Horrendous. Gordy, hate it, disgusting, and, you know, 